Statistics would say that at this point in the election, many people remain undecided about their choice for president. Electoral politics is about helping people understand the direction of the country, but also giving people the ability to see their own stories in the voices of others. In our Maha Voices series, we are attempting to give a place for the undecided and independent voters to hear a commonality in the stories of others. For so many in our country, there is a desire for their principles and convictions to rise above the chatter of dirty tricks and traditional party acolyte fodder, and they often feel lost in a process that elevates the dramatic and diminishes the conversation. Today we speak with Lindsay, a former nuclear activist and liberal who through her own journey of health and loss has come to support Donald Trump via Robert F. Kennedy Jr. For Lindsay, there are more important things than personality and her resonance with Trump supporters and Republicans came after a long search of herself to realize that what had been done to Robert Kennedy Jr. may just have been done to Donald Trump and his supporters too. I'm born and raised in Massachusetts. I became politicized in college and I got involved with the anti-nuclear movement, but I've been a very strong liberal Democrat because they were the good guys. A big turning point in my life, when I was a young mother, my sister, who was 31 years old at the time, she was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. That's a pretty horrifying diagnosis. We got her involved at the NIH for a protocol there, and we thought we were so lucky to get Jane into that. My other sister and I did a lot of research about alternatives to help Jane, and um, the doctors at the NIH wouldn't let us use any of them. And I realized that it would have distorted their studies. It wasn't really about Jane's healing, it was about their study. And uh, she did end up passing, and I just felt like she was their guinea pig. When COVID came along, I was never a big Bobby Kennedy follower, but when he was speaking out, I just started listening to him and I really appreciated his courage in standing up. And I saw him being criticized and condemned by the mainstream media, which made me believe even more that we were being fooled and lied to. When he announced he was running for president, I couldn't have been more thrilled because of his background. He knew politics. He knew how our government works. He knew how to clean it up. And he had the strength to be a leader. I went to the announcement in Boston when uh, all the signs said I'm a Kennedy Democrat. I was there. August 23rd was my sister's birthday and uh, that's a big day. His announcement totally pulled the rug out from under me. It was it was hard. Donald Trump was always the bad guy. All the bad things everybody says about him, I was right in there with it. I couldn't believe it, but I loved Bobby and trusted him so much. I knew there had to be more to it. Going home to my family and saying, we're, we're voting for Trump now. I couldn't, I had to process this and work through it. I recognized that all the brainwashing that I've been frustrated with all my friends, that who, people who would not listen to about Bobby, people who think he's crazy, conspiracy theorists. I've been begging people, please don't listen to the stories about Bobby, listen to Bobby speak. And I realized that's exactly what I've been doing about Trump. I went back to his inauguration speech from 2016, and he said some great stuff. The first thing he said, this is not a transfer. Transferring power from one administration to another or from, from one, one party. party to another. But we are transferring power from Washington, D.C. and giving it back to you, the people. I never even listened to that speech. I was just home feeling sorry for myself when he was elected. I had a friend and she was the head of the Republican Town Committee. And I just wanted to talk. Tell me about this guy. Tell me why I should back him. My friend answered the phone. She's all excited to hear from me. Lindsay, this is such great news. We're so thrilled. And I went to her committee meeting. She invited me as a guest and the people couldn't have been nicer. And everything we talk about, we care about the same things. I've been meeting all these Republicans and they're just wonderful people who want good things for their children and want good things for their families and for their communities. And it's just so amazing to see how they've divided us. Bobby's campaign has been about healing the divide. It, it does feel revolutionary. It feels very, very exciting. 